Hey, Chris from Key Farm. So, oh, by the way, happy Sunday. It's after church. I'm normally not dressed like this. Anyway, um, this week I did a lot of driving, and for me, that's a lot of time to think. And I got to thinking about how much power this little 212 tractor has. And then that wasn't enough for me. I want to know why it has that much. So it all comes down to gear ratio. Now, say on a go-kart or something like that, you get your gear ratio by dividing your uh, clutch teeth on your crankshaft into your final drive sprocket on the back wheel. So 12 teeth on that, 60 teeth on this. If this were a go-kart, this would be a five to one gear ratio, which means the engine turns five times for every one round that the wheels turn, if this is on your back axle. Well, this one's a little more complicated, but we already have some information we need. And what I mean by that is with this, um, we have a 12 tooth clutch going to an 84 tooth sprocket, and that ratio doesn't really do anything for us because it then goes into a transmission. So the first thing we got to do is get it out of the shed. Hey, in case you missed the last video, the tractor's now mostly radio controlled. That ought to be far enough right there. All right, so check this out. We know that this tractor, when the engine is running 36 rounds per minute, this thing will travel 66 feet, okay? So what we got to do now is we got to see in that 66 feet how many revolutions that back wheel's going to take. And we could take how tall it is by pi, but that gives us a little bit of an inaccurate because they're 57 inches tall and it doesn't come out quite right. Probably because they're wider than they are tall. You know what I mean. All right, y'all. So when I measure around the back wheel, I come up with right at 15 and a half feet. All I got to do then is take that 15 and a half feet into the 66 feet that I know that it travels from the speed test in first gear and that gives us the back tire has four and a quarter revolutions now from here it gets a lot easier okay we take that four and a quarter revolutions we know the back tires taken per minute in first gear and a stock predator 212 is 3600 so we do a little bit of math and a drum roll tell I'm not a drummer. I don't have any rhythm. 847 to 1. <laughs> so, when we were doing the uh, stump pulling video, and we see the, the tires start to turn over where it was having trouble pulling the stump, it was turning the tires over in the dirt with 6.5 horsepower. That is the most impressive thing I have seen out of this tractor. Um, let's say that tire turned a third of a round. That little engine had to turn 300 times to make that happen. So, I think we all learned something today. We don't have to have a tremendous amount of horsepower to make something pull hard. We have to have a tremendous amount of gear reduction to make something pull hard. Although it's not going to pull very fast. So, um, hey, I'm Chris from Key Farm. I wish you'd love God, love people, Maybe watch some of these other videos. And hey, that radio controlled video, you can watch this thing drive around the backyard with nobody on it. Pretty, pretty interesting. All right. Have a good Sunday. Bye.